Hey guys, welcome back to our Cisco Defense Orchestrator series. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to look at setting up um, site to site VPN tunnels. So, we will start by going to VPN, site to site VPN. We'll click the plus button to create. And we are going to. Name this HQ BR to branch three VPN. <clears throat> we'll select our HQ outside interface and protected networks will be HQ LAN one. Hit select. Our peer will be branch three. Outside interface. And the protected network will be branch three. And there we go. Hit select. And now we're going to hit create VPN. <clears throat> this is going to go through the process of building out our VPN. We can click advanced here. We see we got Ike V2. We're going to let it go ahead and auto generate the pre shared key because uh, CDL will be managing both sides of this VPN. And so that should be done. We're going to go ahead and hit save VPN. And it should pop up finished when it's done. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll unpause it when it's done. Oh, never mind. There we go. It was that fast. Didn't even need to pause it. <clears throat> so we've got a summary of our VPN here created successfully. And then it's just reminding us that we need to go look at our uh, access control policies that we've got. We're permitting two way traffic and then our NAT. Policies. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll hit finish here. And then <clears throat> let's go ahead and you can see here this tunnel is built here. Uh, it's giving us some information. We can click on it. Again, we'll have our detail plane come up. <clears throat> we can see uh, a relationship here. We see our peers. And uh, but for now, let's go over and let's look at our, let's get our policies set up and our NAT policies. So if I go to devices, <clears throat> I select my HQ device. I'm going to go to policies. And we're going to add a policy here. We're going to put it at number two in order. And we'll name this allow. Inbound VPN. Allow. <clears throat> and we'll say a source of and a destination HQ land save We'll go ahead and enable an intrusion policy. We'll do balanced over connectivity there. We'll do a file policy. We'll block all malware, make sure we don't send malware. And then we will log Actually, let's just log files here. Okay. There we go. Save. <clears throat> and 
Then we're going to create another rule. We'll put it at number three in order. We'll call this allow outbound VPN. We're going to allow this time our source network will be HQ LAN. Our destination network will be branch LAN. I'll save that. <clears throat> oh. Need to go back to this. Let's do our intrusion policy. We'll do our file policy for malware. Logging, we'll log the files. Hit save. And we should be done, but we still need to do our NAT policy. So <clears throat> let's come back over here to our HQ device. We'll go to manage, NAT. We're going to hit add here. We're going to choose twice NAT, static, and continue. And then we're going to do our source of inside, destination interface outside, hit continue. And for this one, it's our HQ, so our source is going to be our HQ LAN. Our translated address will also be HQ LAN. We're going to use destination, and that should be branch land. for tunnels and we can hit save and that should be good now we need to go do <clears throat> the same thing on our branch device so we're going to go over here Go to branch three. We've got to do policy. So we're going to add that policy. Number two, we'll name it allow inbound VPN. Set that to allow. And this will be source of HQ LAN. And a destination branch three. Save, save that, create another rule, name this one allow 
outbound VPN, set that to allow. Network is going to be branch three. Our destination will be the HQ LAN. save uh, so we should be good there oh I put it in the wrong order so I can just move that to three hit save <clears throat> there we go correct order there now we need to go do our NAT policy. So go back over to devices, branch three, go down to management, NAT. We're gonna hit add, twice NAT, static, continue. We're gonna do our inside and outside interfaces. Outside, continue. And our source this time will be branch. Choose. Branch three land. Select. We're going to use the destination and we will do <clears throat> our HQ LAN. Select HQ LAN. There we go. That looks good. Let's hit save. I could have named that differently, but I didn't. Oh, well. And then last thing we need to do is deploy this policy, and then we can test out the tunnel. So let's go ahead and hit deploy here. I'm going to go ahead and deploy this on both devices. And then when we come back, we'll do some testing. I'll pause the video while this deploys, and we'll do some testing of the tunnel. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and I'll see you back when this gets done deploying. All right, so our policy has deployed here. And now let's go test our VPN tunnel. So I've got an RDP session currently to our HQ host. I'm gonna open up an RDP session to our branch three host, since that's who we created the VPN tunnel with. So I'm now on our branch three host. I'm going to open that up by command prompt and let's ping. Uh, ping hq host. <clears throat> there we go, got a reply. So that looks good. Let's go over to our hq host and make sure we can ping. Branch three dash host, I think. Yep, there we go. So our pings work, and our tunnels up. We should be able to actually go back to CDO. Our tunnel should be in an active state. Yep, there we go. Active. <clears throat> if there was no traffic passing over it for a little bit, it would turn to idle. But uh, yeah, that looks good. So in this scenario uh, video, we set up a site-to-site uh, -site VPN tunnel and tested the connectivity between hosts on each side. I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.